So started by dusting down first of all, removing any cobwebs. In here I've got some furry liquid, warm water and pure bristle brush. And also scouring pad, a bit worn. So when I work over the plastic with this, I'm going to keep in the same direction, not put any scratches in the wrong way. Treat it like wood. I'll just give it a good scrub. Let it soak in. And then this will help remove any dirt. This is now washed and rinsed off with clean water. Now what I need to do is go round and remove any silicon these areas because as we know water based paint any paint is not going to stick to this so all I've got is the top from the pseudal expanding foam this sharp edge I can just go around and remove the silicon That's all the silicon removed and from around here just the other side to do.
now all that silicon's gone I've got my sandpaper this is wet and dry I'm going to be using 400 so it's already in the soapy water cloth give it a soak and it'll be more pliable when you fold it notice this is no sheen I've not done this bit yet So just get rid of the sheen, paint will stick better. Now all this is prepped for the paint. What I need to do is use some fungicidal wash and just go around these areas anywhere where the algae is going to be sitting and also this brickwork just that area because I need to reseal Rinse that off and I'll apply some more, leave it to dry. Methylated spirits, but stay away from that rubber seal, okay? Just wipe down, ready for the sealer, and then ready for painting. And what this will do is just get rid of any contaminants anything left on the surface anywhere where I've removed the silicon I've put back a polymer so this is over paintable put black here because this is going to be the only bit that may be exposed everything else will be painted so we got black mortar lines grey brick black guttering downspouts so, ready for priming. This is the primer that I'll be using. Followed by two to three coats of the old coat. Happy days. Until next time.